Hello Camel for the fans, it's Raz Queen from Cardiff and being an Arsenal fan is not an easy vocation. <laughs> I, I have to laugh because um, by the time this video has gone out and um, this would be um, my match prediction um, before we actually play against Southampton. So no doubt um, this video would have followed um, our match after we played against Man City and the recent match against Brighton and Hove Albion. Um, there was two videos. The first video um, or blogs you guys were seeing would have been the, the, um, the easy talk of Black Lives Matter um, that was released Friday. Um, many thanks for Alex for allowing me to sit in the hot seat and if there's been vast clamours of of uh, bloggers and viewers who want me to, to do it on a more um, frequent basis keep it going keep it going because um, Alex needs a bit of competition now and again <laughs> he's my younger brother so I've got to say that um, also um, there was another blog after the, the debacle I have to say on um, Arsenal against uh, Brighton uh, I'll just spend a little bit on this because as I mentioned um, in the, um, the aftermath, the Brighton and Hove Album aftermath video that X did for Canon Follow TV, um, it was a shambles yesterday. I have to say yesterday. It was yesterday. Yeah, it was yesterday. Um, it was a shambles. Um, the team um, kind of played from what I saw of the highlights. Um, I was listening to uh, other people's reactions during the match because I was doing other stuff um, for work as well and it was a complete and utter shambles. Um, it is difficult. I know that we've just come out of um, the COVID-19 lockdown. I know it's pretty much um, trying to get back into a momentum but as an Arsenal player your responsibilities are that you back your man on the pitch. From what I saw against, um, against Brighton, when our goalkeeper went down um, to Mopé, who, um, who challenged him, it, he should have at least got a yellow card. The refereeing was diabolical. Um, it's one of the things that we've said on this channel, and I've mentioned on quite a few occasions, that when you play away from home, you can't expect everything to go your way. The makings of a great team is no matter how adverse the conditions are that you persevere and you come out on top or at least you come away with a point and defeat is always going to be at the back of your minds but the most forefront is that you put a performance in and from what i saw of arsenal we had chances to bury brighton we had plenty of them and we after maybe eight or ten chances that we had we put one in the back of the net and they came back to us and we were sloppy and we pretty much got what we deserved and it's not a thing that it's just happened it's a frequent mentality situation that we we are constantly under and those those players who play for the for the team if you if this is too heavy for you to carry then you have to leave you have to say to the manager you're not worthy you have to go on a transfer list or whatever but don't turn up on the pitch and not give it everything because us as Arsenal fans we would literally die on the pitch to give everything so from what I saw from Grinduzzi grabbing the more pace throw if he'd done that at, when the when the, the foul was committed in the first half maybe that team may have gone with a bit more steel however I'm digressing and my time's nearly up on this channel so first and foremost we've got a match against Southampton um, Thursday um, 6 o'clock what team's going to turn up I don't know are they going to win it's two so far that we've lost so far so I'm being optimistic and hoping that we do turn it around and here we go again so if you like our channel if you support our channel it's kind of for the TV um, press the notification button so you can get all the latest videos and everything else um, we go again guys but us as Arsenal fans we support the team through thick and thin and it's very thin it's moved in time this is Raz from Cardiff and let's see what's gonna happen I'm out this is Raz coming from 
the Emirates in the press media section for Canon Fauna TV. Not breaking news, Emirates news. <laughs>